What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a gingerbread house from start to finish. So first off, since we're drawing a house, we're going to be drawing it in perspective, in two point perspective uh, specifically. Now if you don't know what drawing in two point perspective is, I made a video on that which will pop up right here. I would recommend watching that video so you understand some parts that I'm explaining here in this video. But with that being said, let's get to it. So when you're drawing in perspective, you're going to need a ruler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a horizontal line across the page like so. And then on that line, you're going to plot two points and those are going to be our vanishing points. So we're going to plot one here and plot one here. And we're also going to need a vertical line and that's where the um, that's where both parts of the house kind of intersect and it looks like it's kind of split in half. But once you see the actual drawing, you'll be able to fully understand what I'm talking about. So we're going to pick a point like right here and that's where we're going to draw our vertical line. Okay, so now it looks like a T-shape with two dots on just this one. So next what we're going to do is we're going to pick a point on this vertical line here. Let's see, we're going to make like a dash here. And that's going to be our stopping point for the bottom of the house. And then the stopping point up here for the top of the house. So basically how we're going to draw the house, we're going to be drawing two different th uh, three-dimensional shapes. We're going to be drawing like a, a rectangular prism right here at the bottom. And then sort of like a triangular prism sitting on top of it making sort of a house shape. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this dot to the dash that we put here. So we're going to connect basically everything together. Okay, and now it kind of looks like a baseball diamond and that's the way it's supposed to for, for now actually. But now what we're going to do, we're going to put another dash here. Because we're going to be drawing two different three dimensional shapes. So the stopping point for the rectangular prism will be right here. And we're just going to connect those two dots with this dash here. And then we basically have that done. We just got to draw two more vertical lines. So let me grab another ruler and then just draw a vertical line just like that. And let's go a little, like a little bit further off. I mean, I mean, you could have it as like a, the bottom part of it having to be a cube. You can do that. But I said we we're going to do um, a rectangular prism. So we're going to come off a little bit further making that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this line and we're going to make it a little bit longer. Okay. And then between this line and this vertical line here, we're going to draw like a halfway point. But we're not going to exemplify it too much because we don't want it to confuse us later on. So that's how we're going to do it. And this entire square that's up here, that'll help us draw the triangle that's going to be on top of this shape. So we can pick a point on this line wherever we want. Let's pick it like right here. And then we're going to connect this point to here and here, thus creating a triangle. All right. And then now we can connect this point to this other vanishing point that's over here. Okay. And then this part up here, we can just match the angle that's on this triangle here. It may not be easy. It may not be the exact form, but as long as it's at the same angle, then you should be good. So that looks pretty good to me and the house is pretty much drawn already. So let me grab my eraser and then we're going to erase most of these lines here. And then I'm going to take my pencil and make it bold. And what you see me doing here is altering this shape so it kind of um, gives it a more dynamic look for a gingerbread house. Because it's supposed to be like fun looking. If we had it at the straight lines that we drew earlier then it'd be kind of boring. Um, Add a few curves there. So now with the shape that we um, that we wanted to draw initially, it's there. We just combined two of them so it'd be easier. And so, so we basically drew like a three-dimensional version of just this shape. Which I guess doesn't have a name, because, or at least I never heard of a name for that shape before. But yeah, we just add some dimension to it, that's all. Or like a pentagonal prism, because it has five sides basically. Or, you know, something like that. We just added dimension to it. So now that the house is pretty much drawn, all we have left to do is place everything together. Like, 
actually build a gingerbread house, add some features to it that makes it look like a gingerbread house, all that stuff, like the candy, the decorations, and all that stuff. So before we get to adding any other uh, like details to the house, I'm going to share with you some ideas that I think uh, would look good on a gingerbread house. Okay, so here are some ideas that I have. Um, what I like to use for like the foundation, you can use basically ginger that kind of comes with like a gingerbread house kit if you were to buy one right now. You can use that for the foundation of the house or the walls basically. Or you can use like graham crackers, but since it's a gingerbread house, then um, you can use ginger and like have it already... Um, you know built to fit like the size of the house or something like that but if you don't have gingerbread walls then a graham cracker can be an alternative and also most of what I have here is basically for decorations which you can place pretty much anywhere like um, I have some gumdrops or, and I also have like uh, M&M shapes or um, the six slits kind of candy I don't know if you know what that is it's like small candies that are like smaller than gumballs and they have chocolate in them um, you can use that as a decoration and make everything a little bit colorful you can also use like candy canes or like pretzel sticks or whatever for, um, you know, supports. You can put outside the house or whatever or on the corners of the walls. You can use frosting or icing as like an adhesive to um, place the um, place the candies on the house. Because if you have the candy alone, what will be holding it up? That would be like frosting because it's kind of like super thick and everything. So <clears throat> frosting or icing basically can hold it in place. <clears throat> And if you're planning to make a yard, a whole yard and everything, a whole scene with the gingerbread house in the middle, you can use like a lollipop for like a yard stick. Because the entire place is, we're trying to fill with pretty much candy, snacks or whatever. So if you were to like put a roof together, you can have the graham crackers as, as the roof. Or if you don't want just the graham crackers as the roof, you can put like um, something over top of it. Like say a Hershey's Kiss or like a chocolate candy or whatever. Or maybe marshmallows or maybe one of these gumdrops or like... um one of those um or one of those six slits chocolates that i was talking about you can have that covering up the graham crackers but they can just be the foundation of the roof everything else i would just use as like a decoration because that's what it basically is i'm talking a lot about the graham crackers because they kind of hold the house together everything else is just used to decorate everything and make it a little bit make it a little bit colorful make it fun looking and everything but yeah those are some ideas i have for um creating the gingerbread house you can put it together however you want and also if you don't like what i have here then you can always come up with your own thing it doesn't really matter but these are just some ideas that i have to throw out there for you guys and some ideas to help us build the gingerbread house that we're going to make in this video so so let's get back to the drawing and actually start putting it together Okay, so what I have here is the same drawing. It's just a bit bigger and everything. The only difference is that there are no vanishing points. So I kind of have to assume whatever lines I'm going to put here and there and everything. So, because I don't have the vanishing points as a guide anymore. So I just have to assume lines from, from here on out. But anyway, we got the shape here. And that's all we need. So let's start with the door. This is going to be the front of the house. Like, if you were to go through the woods and find this house, this would be the front entrance. So we can actually start off by making a pathway and then in the background we can make sort of a hill now that we don't have the horizontal line that we drew earlier we don't have that anymore so we can just draw like a hill it can be sitting on a hill okay and then we can start off drawing the door now what could be what could be what kind of candy could be the door we can make it you know a piece of the graham crackers like uh, a square graham cracker like a whole a full cracker that's been cut in half that's what we can make so we can have it like that but I'm gonna put a knob on it even though since this graham cracker looks like it's about to split in half it kind of like opens the door like this like at a grocery store so that is gonna be a little bit weird but it's a door still it's hard enough to be a door so like about half of this graham cracker here, we can use for the shutters on this window. I'll draw those in in a minute, but that's why I had to move this over a bit, you know, and stuff like that. So I'll just give it a, a little bit of dimension. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's um, some dimension on the graham crackers. Not much, but it's there. Okay, now what can we do next? Now we don't necessarily have to make the walls look like graham crackers. So that can be just regular ginger. And the same with the roof, we can make that into a graham cracker if we like, um, and then just have something over top of it. Um, you know what, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We can make it a graham cracker. The rest of the walls can be, um, the rest of the walls can be gingerbread. 
and then the top the roof can be another piece of um another graham cracker fully made graham cracker so just divide it into four pieces um you can we can make it into frosting if you want we can just add like a small detail here and then later on we can just make that into frosting and then to kind of fill that space we can add like um, a chocolate drop and just draw some on the other side and in the middle we can either add marshmallows or maybe um let's say it's one of those six list candies actually and remember to make it kind of slanted because that's how the roof looks okay and then now in these spaces we can add those six list candies and then we can worry about the frosting and everything later adding detail to that we can do that later okay and um we can also do the same thing on the other side you won't see much so i'm just gonna add like a small detail here as if there were the same three chocolate drops on this side and also um the graham cracker so now we got the rest of the house to decorate anything we want so let's go up here and we can add like a giant mint and then to draw a mint just make a circle and draw like a little dot in the middle and then make sort of like an s curve there then come behind this one make another s curve going past the dot also going behind this one and then do the same thing on the bottom we'll just draw a line that's right here to kind of separate the top of the house from the door and maybe some frosting up here to kind of adhere the graham crackers to the top of the house and then what i'm gonna do is at the bottom here we can try to add some like gumdrops in the place of flowers because we can use gumdrops as a um we can use gumdrops as a decoration because they're so colorful they can take the place of flowers we can um we can add more chocolate drops along here but not a whole lot but we can make them as big as the gum drops that are here so we can just do what we did up here and just make three of them since they're large in size and then one of these gum drops i can add just add to the back you won't see much of it but it's there just add like a small little six slit right here and then with some frosting to adhere it to the wall and then another detail that i want to add i'm gonna try to add this line in here we can add like a small texture with like um make it look like bricks that's down here but it'll still be like the gingerbread that's holding it together so it won't necessarily be bricks it'll just be um so it won't necessarily be bricks but it'll look like so it won't necessarily be bricks it'll just be um the same gingerbread but the bricks will kind of look like they're carved into the gingerbread so um if we so when we go to color it we won't give it a different color because it'll still be okay now we can get rid of this line now all we got to do is just give it a, the same color as the gingerbread but give it but give the bricks um a different dimension a little bit have it sticking out a little bit and we go to color it but we'll talk too much about that right now and then over here you can add like a candy cane like a giant candy cane sticking up just add like um, more cichlids. Just to add like a little bit more of a decoration to it. And don't forget the frosting or icing to adhere him to. Sorry, to ad adhere them to the uh, to the wall. Let's fix this shape a bit. And do the same thing to the knob. Forgot to mention that earlier. But also, we don't have to necessarily include every kind of candy, even though what I'm about to do is a bad example. But um, we can add like marshmallows along the pathway, just like this, which will kind of like lead to the house. And then maybe some like circles. I don't know what they, I don't know what these could be. Um, let's just call them rocks for now. Because this is, this is taking place in a forest. Or at least a mythical, magical forest or whatever. So we're going to just call those rocks for now. That's the only thing not candy in this um, in this picture. All right, and that is looking good. The gingerbread house is looking pretty good. So now that the gingerbread house is pretty much complete, I'm gonna ink it so you guys can get a better look at it. And then we're gonna switch to some color to bring out the fun in this piece.
And again, you don't have to match the colors and everything that I'm using. You can use any colors that you want. Same with the candies that I'm using. You don't have to necessarily use the ones that I'm using. You can use any kind of candy that you want, any kind of combination that you want to use. That's totally up to you. But anyways, that's my video on how to draw a gingerbread house from start to finish. If you did like it, give it a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.